people are just leaving their pets abandoned in their apartments and they just close the door and leave their pets behind. They just close the door and leave their pets behind. I was like, what, seriously? Yes, for them to die. to be alive. I'm right now here with Pat and Love in the park. And they're very loud. They're calling out to a raven. Yeah? Can you see a birdie bird? Okay, let's, let's sing together. One, two, three. Where? Okay guys, it's a beautiful day to be alive. I'm in the park right now with Hope and Love. So let me put the GPS on Hope and let's get him flying. Ah, go fly. a beautiful flight hope flew really nice really nice good boy good boy Hobie. good boy also want to tell you like love here he's also now getting more flights in i'm driving once a week to the dry lake which is a three hour road trip and we know how expensive it is with all the gas prices to get him flighted for an hour let's do this let's go fly one Go fly! One, two, three. <laughs> once a week he's a flight i just don't want to fly him here in the city for something to happen to him plus he's a high-end exotic very rare and danger blue macaw so i have to take more precaution with love instead with hope hope he's a pro he can fly anywhere but love here he needs some some more guidance right Mwah. Also guys, if you want to train your bird to free fly, get my book. You're getting a bird education and a free flight education. You get so much background knowledge and insight and free flight and also risk management with free flight. So get my book. It's on my website, angelicparrots.com. All right, guys. So I want to talk to you about something that was on my heart. Like we know there's war going on in Europe right now uh, with Russia and Ukrainian. And last week I talked to my sister, she's in Germany. And my sister told me that 
they got some Ukrainian refugees in Hamburg, my sister's in Hamburg. And she told me that those kids told her that um, people are just leaving their pets abandoned in their apartments and they just close the door and leave their pets behind. They just close the door and leave their pets behind. I was like, what, seriously? Yes, for them to die. So right now there's like 3 million refugees. I don't know how many people has pets in Ukrainian, but um, just imagine the, the, the heartbreak of leaving your pets behind. Well, you have to go for rescues. You are forced out of your home. And now they have to leave their house and they say if you have a cat or a dog they just shut the door on the apartment and just let them inside there to die basically to starve to death the girl the kids uh, who are refugees from ukrainian in hamburg uh, told her that and i was like wow so i did some research and i uh, found some articles about the zoo the zoo, the animals, animal zoo in, in, in Ukrainian. In Greece. What about all these animals in the zoo? The elephants, the giraffes, the lions, the, the chimpanzees, the monkeys, like the birds. What about all these animals in, in, in Ukrainian? And um, there's an article, I'm gonna link it below in the description, you can also read. It's so sad because of all the bombings, they give the animals sedatives so that they calm down so they don't freak out when there's a bomb attack or if something hits the hits the fan um hey there's a dog passing us by big dog but anyway yes and that's really 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 sad i just feel like like sad when i hear stuff like that they're leaving like not only their pets behind like normal people like you and me but i will never leave my pets behind um but they do and then there's also like those zoo animals they have to like go on an underground bunkers and stuff like that to be safe and also like the food supply is shortened so it's really they're struggling in the zoos to feed the zoo uh, the animals so you know like people say it's like um, humans first like they want to rescue as much humans as possible so humans are dying animals are dying birds are dying in Ukraine and it's so 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 sad and I'm just so so angry about this whole situation first we have this uh, pandemic and now we have this war and there's so much uncertainty and uh, this is just a mess this is a whole mess what's going on in the world right now okay <laughs> Hobie just came and bit my shoe. <coughs> Hobie, what are you doing with my shoe? Come on. Also, here's a little wind going on right now. So, but it's a really, really nice warm weather. Hobie just went on a tree. So I'm just going to hang out here, wait for Hopi to come back. <coughs> he's back. This is the hour. This is the goal <coughs> for him to be out and about. <laughs> I just wants to kiss. Like, oh, wait. You want to fly? You want to fly too? Oh, come. One. Come on. You want to fly? Yeah, Lars wants to fly too. He wants to fly so bad in this park, but I know if I fly him in this park, he's going to sit on trees. This little boy, he flies high. So I have to graduate him back to level two slowly. He's now back to level <coughs> one and then from level two to level three and then we can go closer like here's another nice uh, area where i can fly free fly him closer the area where he sat in the tree for the first time two years ago yeah. hey one ready one two three <laughs> One, one, two, three. <laughs> Good job. Good job. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, 
move on. Okay, guys, this was the vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time on a new episode of Caroline on Pets And hit the subscribe button and go get my book. I love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.